Okay. Hello, Booktube. I'm Marilyn Maya. And those of you who know me aren't too surprised at my getup. Is it 1920s flapper? Is it 60s hippie? I'll let you decide that. So why am I here in this getup? Well, my name is Marilyn Maya Mendoza and MMM, and I'm here for the announcement of March Mystery Madness, also MMM. So I love mysteries. I came to BookTube really loving mysteries and looking for mystery recommendations. And I found this whole community like me who loves mysteries. So I'm here for my announcement video for March Mystery Madness 2024. And our theme, because it's the ninth year, is Dress to the Nines. <laughs> and we have a bingo card that you don't have to follow any of the prompts, but I'm going to tell you what they are anyway. And if you want to follow them, you can. And there's so many co-hosts uh, that are going to be down in the description box. First of all, the creator of March Mystery Madness is Elizabeth from Lizzie Faye Loves Books and Troy Towell. And they put together this wonderful celebration of mysteries um, nine years ago. And I've only been involved since last year as a co-host, but I've been watching for quite a few years. And this year I wasn't going to partake because it's, it was a hard year for me. But because of something that happened that I will get to, um, I decided to join and be part of this. And the minute I did, I felt joyful because mysteries are an escape. It's a puzzle. They're a puzzle. And they're just delightful. And I love them so much. So let me tell you what the prompts are. You don't have to do them. Sort of like a bingo card. Um, I'm not very uh, technologically <laughs> inclined. But on Discord, there's a whole bunch of people who are working on that aspect. All these tech people who are doing wonderful things to make this month, well, not this month, because this is on February, but next month, really, really special. And I'm going to do something that I'll tell you about that is special too. But let me go on to the prompts. So, dress to the nines, nine years. Um, read a British mystery is the second one, 999. So uh, you could read Arthur Conan Doyle, Agatha Christie, uh, Dorothy Sayers. There's tons of British mysteries that are out there in all kinds of genres, of subgenres of the mystery. And that's interesting too, um, about subgenres, and I'll get into that. The third thing is Nine Lives, Cat on the Cover. Now, if you know uh, maybe Sneaky Brown, uh, was a cat in a cozy mystery. Uh, cats are very visible in cozy mysteries and other mysteries too. So uh, as are dogs, but this one is cats. So if you have a mystery with a cat on the cover, you've already been, you're in. The next one is 911, first responder of any kind. Um, and where there's murder, there has to be a first responder, whether it be the police, the ambulance, um, no, the, no, you tell me what are other first responders. I, I can't think of them on the fly, but basically you're going to see a first responder somewhere in a mystery. Um, the middle center of the bingo card has a big heart in it. And that's because of a booktuber we lost last year. Her name was Janelle from Too Fond of Books. She was a good friend of mine and a lover of everything mystery. And I'm going to do something in honor of her. Well, and that is, she had this wonderful theme, Murder Mystery Mondays. And for in March, I'm going to dedicate one book 
on Monday to mysteries and also to think about Janelle and the kind of book she liked. And we did some buddy reads together. I was really, really broken up when she passed because we were, we were friends, you know, that wasn't it. We did some buddy reads together, like I said, but I felt it so deeply when she passed. I mean, it was a shock. It was very shocking. So she died so suddenly and um, it took me up to now, I'm still not over it. And I can't imagine her wonderful husband and the wonderful friends that she made on booktube feel the same way. She did last year, and I think every year that she's been, that she was on booktube, um, uh, a video every single day uh, in March about mysteries. And I told her, I said, I can't promise you I'm going to do a lot of videos last year but I'm gonna watch every single one of your videos and I did except for one and I thought in honor of her I'm going to do a, a, a mystery Monday for her for her memory and so a book that reminds you of Janelle if you don't know Janelle just look at her um, her booktube channel too fond of books you'll fall in love with her as well as get so many wonderful recommendations and she had so much class. She did the, the m and M bingo game. She had so much fun in her. And someone is doing that too, uh, the m and bingo game. Anyway, so uh, that's the main reason that I decided to join this year as a co-host and not just a watcher of other people's wonderful videos. So the next one is Nine Patch, a book with a quilt on the cover. Uh, I live in Hawaii and we don't have, uh, really cold weather but I like me a quilt <laughs> and this is the winter and that's why I'm outside because it's like four four o'clock in the afternoon and we're, we're getting dark a little bit earlier and if you hear the birds they're going to sleep already and I'm in my backyard uh, which needs to be more flowery but we do have the birds if you hear them so um, Cozy mysteries tend to have a lot of quilty stuff and, you know, cozy, cozy quilty. So that's another one of the prompts. And then the other prompt is nine on the cover or in the title or a ninth in the series. Um, there's not many series that I've read in mysteries. I've read um, Sue Grafton. I've only missed one that I, that I plan to read. I think it's X. I haven't read that and I heard it's a good one um, and oh so nine on the cover or in the title and ninth book in a series uh, and the next one is any nine page count chapters years published etc so that's easy I guess I haven't really looked into it yet I know one thing I plan to do is uh, reread or read Rex Stout's uh, books on um, Wolf, the Wolf series. And um, I heard that it was a really good series, that it was better plotted than even Agatha Christie. And I read a few of them and they take place like in the 20s or the 30s, which is a really Maybe it's the 30s and the 40s. I love that time period for mysteries. I think that it's, it's really an exciting time, you know, the flappers. And I think it takes place in New York City. So that's one thing I plan to do uh, for March Mystery Madness. And also hear all the wonderful recommendations that you have. So I'll end this video right now because I think I said everything I want to say except that all of the hosts will be down in the description box and all the activities also. So if you want to take, please um, take part in any small way that you can. It's a lot of fun. And until we meet again, I wish you all aloha.